What's up everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Garage. We're back out here in the South Texas heat. We're going to be working on the golf cart again. So when I installed the amplifier for the radio, I chose a four channel amp, but I only installed two speakers because I wasn't sure really if I, if I was going to like it or not, if it was going to be loud enough. So I decided to go ahead and add a second set of speakers. So today we're going to install those. Let me show you what I got. So I really like the speakers that I put in the cart. They sound pretty good. Um, you can hear them pretty well. No cutting out, no distortion or anything so i went ahead and ordered another set of them same exact speaker but i don't think i really showed you the speakers in the last video so we're going to go over those real quick it's a pile version pile branded speaker you can see inside there it's got a little mid a couple of highs connects with these plastic brackets and some thumb screws makes it real easy to connect up to the frame of the golf cart in a future video, I plan on replacing these plastic ones with some aluminum bar. Um, I don't want this to get brittle and they fall off because golf carts are, are not that smooth of a ride. So eventually these are going to be replaced, but they'll work for now. I plan on installing it right here in this flat part, mostly for the backseat passengers, but it'll help with us up front as well. You can hear the speakers on it pretty well until we're at top speed, the wind noise, and it's a gas cart, so it makes some engine noise as well. It, um, it's hard to hear the sound, so having them over our head behind us will help as well. I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and mounted the one on the other side. I wanted to make sure that I could get the wire down through the frame of the top before I started making a video and then run into an impasse and have to stop. So. I'm going to show you how to do the other side now that I know what I'm doing, um, but that's where it's going to be mounted at. The wire runs down that frame underneath the cart and it'll go up front to the amp. So the first thing we got to do is we got to remove this end cap because that's where I run the wires through. I didn't drill it this time because that end cap's close enough I can just loop the wire over. And then I've got to remove that bolt and a couple more down at the bottom here. I, I don't have to remove them, but I like getting them out of the way so that the string that I run through there doesn't catch up on them. Once I get all of that out of the way, then we'll get the air chuck and we'll uh, run the pull string through there and then pull the wire back up. I'm going to get set up for it. So this is all 916 hardware, so I've got the drill and an open end wrench. I'm going to loosen this one and then take the other three out and then we'll get the, the string run through there. All right, now I've got the push string and the air chuck. I'm gonna get set up and get that run through. Gotta get this cap off first. Just use regular old yellow string that you would use for framing or construction or whatever. Something nice and heavy duty that you can tie off to and pull it back through. Nothing yet. Sometimes it gets hung up. Next we'll use some electrical tape and the wire that came with the speakers. Tape it onto this string and have it pull it through. This wire's not quite long enough. I'll have to extend it after we're done. But we'll get this part done first.
All right, we're three. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the speaker. I've just been mounting them with zip ties for now until I'm sure that's where I want them to be because I want to drill a bunch of holes in this frame um, and then move them later. So I'm just gonna zip tie them on. And once I'm comfortable with where they're at and I'm happy with it, then we'll bolt them down. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together first though before it falls. All right. All right, and the last step for this part is gonna be cutting a relief in the end cap for the wire to pass through. Perfect. All right, so we got the wire ran along the frame rail of the cart on both sides, all the way to the front. The next step will be snaking the wires into the center console, which I'm gonna work on next. All right, so we got the wires ran across from the outside and ran into the center console. And I got it wired up to the amplifier that I installed in the center console. Tested it, everything works. Again, I can't let you listen to it because YouTube gets mad at me for that. But this one's successful. We are done. As always, thank you guys for hanging out with me here in the garage. If you like what I'm doing, you wanna see more, please subscribe. If you got some comments for me or Whatever, I'll be sure to respond. We got this one finished up. It's going to be nice to have uh, extra speakers on the cart so we can hear it when we're driving. It's a hot day here in South Texas, but we got it done. As always, you guys have a wonderful afternoon and rock on.